In addition to auscultation and percussion, we have additional techniques to be able to assess for evidence of consolidation um, or abnormal airflow within the lungs. The first one is going to be tactile fremis. What we're doing there is we're assessing voice transmission through the lung fields through vibration. So what you're going to do is using the ulnar surfaces of your hand, because this is where we can feel vibrations the best, we're going to lay those against the chest wall while the patient says something consistent. We usually have them say something like 99. So I'm going to lay, comparing it side to side, I'm going to lay my hands on the chest wall and ask you to say the 99 for me. 99. Again? 99. And again? 99. Under normal circumstances, the vibration should feel the same between in the right and the left side of the lungs. Anything that causes consolidation within the lung, such as an ammonia, will increase that vibration. Anything that puts more distance between my hand and the lung field, such as an effusion, will decrease that vibration. We can also check out voice transmission through sound waves. For that, I'll need my stethoscope. So we can listen to what the patient is saying and hear how that changes um, to assess for that. So the first one is agophony. So agophony is, e to, another way of saying it is E to A changes. When the patient says an E through a consolidated lung, that can change and sound like an A. So if you just quietly say E for me. And again. And again. And again. So you want to do that over areas where you suspect there might be some consolidation to help you confirm it for you. The same thing can be done for uh, a whispered breath sound. Um, so if someone whispers something, it can become a louder through consolidated lung. And this is called whispered pectoriloquy. 